Yes, it's been around 45 years uh, in the industry. Uh, worked for a major insurance company in Melbourne in my very early years, then went overseas and spent 18 years in London uh, as a financial advisor for a merchant bank, then working for a funds management company, returned to Australia in 1988 and worked for three of the leading fund management groups in Australia and then in 2000 decided it was time for me to uh, become politically incorrect and step out on my own. Yes, it's interesting, the two golden rules, it's, it's going to sound very naive, uh, number one is spend less than you earn, number two is borrow less than you can afford. Now, I would have uh, thought that these were common pre concepts, but uh, the global financial crisis has taught me that uh, one generation has completely lost the plot. Because if you look now at the governments, the corporations and the individuals that have been incinerated in the last four years, they broke either one or both of those rules. So I'm afraid it's, uh, it's back to basics and that's trying to teach people those basic concepts. I think it's absolutely vital and I've always felt that uh, Medoris and Peter Sarai have done a fantastic job. I've been a regular presenter uh, for the simple reason that education, particularly in financial matters, is absolutely vital and the reason is that fear is based on ignorance. The only reason many people are uncomfortable with the stock market is because of ignorance. If we can empower them because knowledge is power. Well, it's, it's fundamental. Um, it's like health, it's like legal issues, it's like all the things that we face in life. And to enter into um, a lifelong relationship with their money, they need the knowledge to be able to deal effectively with it not necessarily do everything, but certainly have the knowledge to be able to deal with it effectively. Yes, I do. Uh, after 45 years in this industry, I now know that I don't know, and there's an awful lot that I don't want to know. So yes, I do have a financial planner, and his role is twofold. One is to provide me with strategic advice about a lot of uh, things in li like superannuation, the rules change, etc. So I, he provides all the strategic advice. And the secondary, and probably a very important one for me now at my age, is that if anything ever happens to me, my wife picks up the telephone and makes one call. I can go comfortably. Um, I've known Peter for quite a long time. Uh, I think I can date it back to 1995 when I began working for MLC and met Peter for the first time. And Peter was one of those people that uh, took on board, I guess, the very simple but very powerful messages that uh, I feel I have to offer. And Peter's one of a very few advisors in Australia that continued the relationship after I left MLC um, and began working for myself. Um, because I think Peter has, a, like me, a very strong commitment to providing his clients with the knowledge to empower them. Spend less than they earn and borrow less than they can afford. And I mean, it's an interesting question, Jita, because I think that's one concept that we have managed to communicate to our three children by example, not by exhortation, because often as parents, it's very difficult to tell your children. Uh, they're sometimes not listening, but certainly through um, allowing them to see what we were doing. And I think it has had quite a profound effect now that they're adults on their situation in life. What excites me about the future? It's all different and it's fun. And particularly at this stage of my life, um, I've lent my wife to my children for 20 years. I've now got her back. <laughs>